What's going on everyone? Rob here, R. Pelton One. Thanks for tuning in. We are at a really cool little park preserve. It's about 40 degrees. I dragged Cass, I drug Cass. I dragged Cass along here with me just so I can put her through a little food taste test. So, before we get into trail pho from Backpacker's Pantry, let's take a look at what pho actually is. And right now we're at Quang's Pho Restaurant in downtown Minneapolis. I guess this is one of the best places to get pho. And I'm with Cass here, who's all about pho. She knows what's in it. She knows the history about it. This is what she likes. This is what she eats. So she took me here to see what pho is all about. Let's head inside. <laughs> get here is the number 500 which is the ribeye pho or the pho thai which is the 505. Um, pho is just like a Vietnamese noodle soup with some beef broth, cilantro, onions, green onions, and then your choice of meat. And it's really good but it takes a long time to make the broth because it's like a bone broth. So that's why it's so good. So they just brought out two giant heaping bowls of pho. Uh, this is the 505 sliced beef, and you can see the onions, the bone broth, the cilantro, everything's in there. And now we're just gonna eat up. It's like the best meal ever. It's got your basic food groups, carbs, meat, broth, vegetables. That's all food groups. So the flavor is pretty complex. I added a lime that added a very good element in it. The beef is very tender because it's been sitting in the broth this whole time. It's got a very herbal sense to it, but uh, I wouldn't call this ramen. It'd be a, an insult really to, to refer to this as ramen but this is this is good eating this on the trail would be fantastic but also impossible <laughs> so I was advised to spice it up a little bit we got some sriracha some poison sauce turn it in and uh, it gives it an extra kick an extra flavor another complexity that's just it's pretty damn good. Oh wow. Way different. A lot better. Now it's got some spice. Whew, just left the restaurant a little bit ago. Truth be told, we overspiced our broth just a little bit. It, it got, it got a little spicy, but it was very good. The flavors, the restaurant was really cool too. But that's that's what pho is supposed to be. Delicious. Delicious. So let's let's find out what trail pho is like. What? <laughs> okay. Ooh. The ingredients, for the most part, look pretty similar to what you would possibly find in, like, normal pho. But there are a couple other things that I just have never seen in it before, like carrots and mushrooms. I mean, it seems to have the bases fairly covered as far as nutrition facts, like it's good with protein and carbs and such, low in sugar. I just have a hard time believing that they can get authentic pho freeze-dried like this. But I guess we're gonna try it. like glorified ramen noodles and kind of like socks 
I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> so this requires three cups of water. My pot only holds two, so I'm gonna dump two in there, boil another one, dump it in there. But you can see it's got the rice noodles, the little beef chunks, you can see the little carrot chunks in here. Doesn't smell that bad. <laughs> We'll get another cup of water going just to finish it off because I want to make it per its instructions. But it comes with a dehydrated sriracha packet and a dehydrated lime packet, so I guess it's supposed to help with that authenticness. We're adding the last cup of water to this, and now we're going to put in this seasoning packet and this lime packet so that the flavors will hopefully just like mix with everything. Seems like a lot, but I guess we'll see how it affects the flavor. Got all the water added, all the seasonings added. We're gonna mix it up. It kind of smells like pho, I'm gonna be honest with you. get it sealed up so this has got to sit for like 15 minutes so I think it's gonna be better than she thinks it's gonna be but then again she's you know she's kind of into the pho lifestyle and me I'm just happy to have something different on trail so <sighs> what do you think I'm not anticipating it to be that great but I'm willing to give it a try and I hope that I'm pleasantly surprised so it's been about 15 minutes smells okay hey if you like these kinds of videos outdoor adventure videos outdoor gear gadget review videos subscribe right down there so you don't miss a thing ready for a taste test let's do it let's try it out looks weird the noodles like don't look right Honestly, it smells like beef ramen noodles with like oregano or something in it. It doesn't really smell like pho to me. I brought these chopsticks thinking that I could eat this with uh, them, but the noodles aren't long like pho noodles. They're about yay big, so don't need those. That is incredibly bland. Yeah, it literally tastes like spicy water. Uh, it doesn't taste anything like pho broth from the initial bite. I'll give it a second chance. Yeah, that like couldn't be farther from what I'm used to. It's... All right, so my turn to try the beef uh, Vietnamese inspired noodle soup with a delicious broth, rice noodles, green onions, herbs, and beef. Street food becomes trail food. I guess we'll see about that. <laughs> it doesn't smell as, as rich, I guess, as the stuff that we had. The noodles are short. Oh. Oh, man, that's a shame. I'm so bummed. Um... It's not even as good as ramen. Um, it is very bland. The noodles are very mushy. I mean, yeah, it is a freeze-dried meal. I get it. The broth. Yeah, there's something something about broth. It's not rich. It doesn't have that fattiness to it, obviously. But, uh... Yeah, it's a shame it's not good. I, if, if, after a long day on the trail... It might be good, but on a chilly day like right now, it's just it's just it's just kind of not. Ah, uh, so I don't know. <laughs> Knowing what I know now, I might be a little disappointed on the trail, and I'd probably be forced to eat it. But I think this might have to just be discarded as is. It's a shame because I was kind of excited for it, and I was excited for her to try it. <laughs>
So I brought along a, a white bowl just so you can see what it looks like, you know, in the bag. So I'll give you a little. There's the broth. It looks rich and it looks deep. There are the noodles coming. See so really short, stout noodles. It, it it honestly tastes like um like dishwater. I know it sounds terrible, but I, I admire the fact that they tried. But that's 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 what it's looking like. So all in all, this taste test was a, a little bit of a bust. I'm glad I found out though. It's just not very good. This is the first backpacker's pantry meal I've had, and I'm not real impressed with it. Yeah, I uh, I kind of anticipated this, but I was really hoping for his sake that it would be better <laughs> than what I thought. But this is basically what I anticipated. Uh, I did expect it to taste better than ramen noodles, though, so that that was weak. Yeah, if it came down to this and actual just the, the, the regular ramen noodles, I would totally eat that instead. But if you like these kinds of videos, you want to see some more taste tests, let me know down in the comments below. If you haven't already, hit subscribe right down there so you don't miss a thing. And I'll post a couple more videos, like right over here, for you to check out. And I do have an Instagram where I post a lot of the pictures of the trips I go on. And you can follow me on Instagram right up there. But appreciate you watching another episode of uh, Food Talk and the disappointment within. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be this way. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Shit. It really couldn't have been worse. <laughs>